What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Acres Scuba and Marina and we're out here to do another underwater job today. Uh, we're back at the local golf course that we dive at a lot and we've always had issues with this water pump out here. So we'll raise it up for the crew, they'll fix it and we'll reinstall it. What we're actually doing today is we're gonna be digging a trough for them. They've hired us to come out and dig a trough to help keep some of the sand and some of the dirt out of the water pump system. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna jump in here we're going to dig it out real quick, and I kind of want to make this video for you. I know it's been about a week since I've uploaded one. We've been extremely busy, guys. We, we're at the start of diving season. We have a ton of students right now, and I'm trying to get caught up on a lot of these jobs that we get hired to do. Uh, we've got several trips going on right now. I've got my business partner down in Curacao with a group of 18 divers. I've got a 10-day trip to Boca Raton to SSI headquarters at the end of the month, plus we've got another Florida Springs trip at the end of the month. So we've been really, really busy, so it's been very difficult for me to actually come out and shoot a video. But I'm going to jump in the water here. I'm going to take you along with me. I'm going to show you just some of the non-gloriousness of it, if you will, of when we do these dive jobs. It's going to be cold, but hopefully it'll be fun for us. So let's jump in and see what we can get done. Do you know where we mount it? Yeah. Where the manifold is? Even the manifold is completely covered with sand. Was that big I guess so. Oh, yeah, the whole thing. Uh, I'm standing on it. I'm standing on the sand. Drop down right here and you'll see it. See. The whole thing is covered in sand. Are you sure the pump ain't on up this way? Oh yes. Yes.
Where this manifold's out, it's, I'm holding it with my hand. It's under. It's completely under the sand. Even the big square box. Oh yeah, yeah. Work it down. Give it just a second to settle. They've had that much sand washed downstream. I'm warm. I'm warm, but I'm gonna call him. I don't know if we can do it or not. Uh, we can get it out. We've got to dig out that manifold. That's why it ain't working. This is useless. Well, the problem is, is the more you dig out, the deeper it actually gets because that thing's slanted. I'm just taking my hand and doing this, and the current of the water is drifting all that grit away. If we can, yeah, we need to be facing. Well, we face downstream, get where we think the end of it is, and just wave it until it all appears. So. We need to let it settle for a second. Yes. Yep. We just need to swim out, try to picture how long that thing is, swim out that far. I mean, I don't. I guess it just started filling up and filling up and eventually just covered it. Yeah. Yeah.
All right, guys, I wanna show you real quick what we're dealing with. Up here is my truck. This is the golf course up here. We're down here in the creek. And if you look over here to the left, this is the uh, water pipe system. Let's see if I can get it right there. It comes down, sucks the water up, shoots the water out through the uh, woods over here. And then it comes down that waterfall over there, which you've seen in plenty of videos. But I wanna show you the problem that we're having today. Basically, this water pump here you can see it coming down through into the water and about where we are standing we're in what maybe 10 inches max so we're in about 10 inches of water this is normally six foot of water so 10 inches below us is the dirt and then six feet below the dirt is where that big 800 pound water pump system that you guys have seen in plenty of video is so we actually have to dig down that far just to get to it and then we're gonna have to dig a trough up through here now the good news is this dirt is really really soft the sand is so the flow of the water is helping us out the bad news is it's really really soft the dirt and the sand's real soft so as we dig it out more dirt's washing downstream and it's actually filling in just as quick as we can get it ideally we really need a dredge system down here or maybe some type of track hoe or backhoe to get in here and truly dip all this out but we're gonna have to do this by hand. It's what we've been hired to do. It's the only resources we current, currently have today to deal with. So I got a feeling we're gonna be here for several hours today. What should have took maybe maybe an hour. Looks like we're gonna be here probably all day and most of the night as well. So we're gonna get back at it and see how much we can get done. All right guys, so the reality of it is we're not gonna be able to do this job today. We're actually gonna have to either get a track hoe down here or some type of dredge system to get in here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pack up. We've talked to the maintenance guy here, the guy that actually hired us to do the job. We've kind of explained the situation to him. I'm gonna take some of the footage that you guys seen today and I'm gonna edit it down for him just so he can show his higher ups. But basically what we're dealing with is, is the sand and stuff has just built up so much it's overtaken the water pump it system or the water pump itself it's kind of shut it down uh, and it doesn't matter how much digging we do we just don't have the equipment today to do it all we've got shovels and it's just not going to be sufficient i think what we may do is either come back and actually mark where the end of the water pump is and put a stick or something for them to see and then i really think their best bet is going to get actually get a track hose system down here, dig all this sand out, let it wash downstream, and then we can kind of go in for the fine details and, and actually get their water pump for them. But I got a feeling once we once it is dug out, we're gonna have to raise it back up for them one more time because if it's sucked up that much sand, I have no doubt the impeller system in it is just shot, so they're gonna have to get it repaired too. But I do appreciate you coming on this dive with us. I want you to see that this is the reality of doing work like this. Sometimes you don't get a, a successful outcome to it. But guys, if you got any questions on work like this, please put it down in the comment section below. If you like seeing videos like this, do me two favors, hit that like button and definitely share it as well. Uh, guys, as always, we really appreciate you watching our videos and commenting and like them. They support us. Every time you watch a video, it supports us. It allows us to make more videos in the future. And if you wanna see more stuff like this, just simply let me know. But guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.